position that San Diego will have in the ball game. And it was Gary Anderson, the kicker, who finally got him 45 yards on the return. And here's a program to note. Tonight, Mad About You makes the move to Sunday at 8, 7 Central with a one-hour episode. And the award-winning comedy starring Paul Reiser and Helen Hunt is sure to change your Sunday night viewing habit. Well, right now, the San Diego Chargers are trying to change their Sunday afternoon viewing habits as they trail 14 to nothing. But now they start from the Philadelphia 49-yard line. The drop, the flat pass complete out of bounds, Sean Jefferson. Now we'll look at the Chargers version of the West Coast Dolphins. Well, basically what, you know, Ralph Friedgen, their offensive coordinator, wants to do through Stan Humphreys right now in this offense is get something going. You know, Stan's there saying, Look, I've got my list. I can start calling plays for situations, but I need confidence from my offense. But more importantly, I need my skill people to get and hold on to that ball because it's starting to get slick. Natron Means is the running back. Mitchell is the eighth back. There's nothing there. The line of scrimmage of 44, maybe a half yard, and that's going to be it. Kirk Cavea of BYU is the man who stopped him. You know, that, that's going right out of spot with Mamula, that rookie defensive lineman, 250 pounds. You figure, hey, I've got a matchup. Let me get after him. What happens? Mamula stands up Swain, discards him, and gets him on that play. He's a very deceptive 250. He's a very physical, quick striker that gets into alignment and neutralizes Chargers are 0 for 3 in third down opportunities. Here's a sweep to the near side. Ronnie Harmon, the big play third down maker, and he's going to do it. On the sweep to the near side, he's going to pick up the first down. Greg Jackson with the tackle. Derek Frazier, the right cornerback for the Philadelphia Eagles, gets a smushing. A smushing? A smushing a smush. from Eric Moten. Watch Moten. He kind of looks wild getting his stuff together, getting all that weight going and pulling out. And right in front of Ronnie Harmon, there's the side of the smushing right there, about right at the, the first down marker, and he got, he, it, was, it might have been a mega smush. That's, a, that's halfway between the smash and the mush. He goes deep, has a man, two steps on his receiver, touchdown San Diego. Yes, John Jefferson holds on to it. As Dan Humphrey strikes from 38 yards away, and the Chargers are on the scoreboard. A 49-yard touchdown drive. Four plays. It was set up by Andre Coleman's 45-yard kickoff return. And Jefferson thinks he was interfered with here by McMillan. It was a very nice throw. Let's look at the end and see what happened. He has to slow down. That was an interference. That was a great catch by Sean Jefferson. A nice throw by Stan Humphreys. And again in 1995, a wonderful job by the offensive coaches of the Chargers. Being patient, going with a run, going with a short run, and then taking that big shot. I told you, this team can get the ball down the field quick. John Carney to attempt the point after. And it is good. And we have a 14 to 7 ball game. Eagles on top by seven. Stan Humphrey strikes through the air for San Diego. Anderson misses from 43 yards away. So the spot of the kick was the 33 yard line. That's where the miss came. And now one of the NFL rules. That's where San Diego takes over. And this is their second best field position to start a drive. And they start it with Natron Me. And he goes to the 36 yard line. He has three. It'll be second down and seven. Gavea with the tackle. That was, that was a big sequence there for that Chargers defense, starting out with that offside penalty, that motion by Panos, and then stuffing him up, and then the kick being missed. I mean, that's called seriously dodging a bullet for Bobby Ross and the Chargers. Natron Means has been held to 19 yards rushing in seven carries. That's less than three yards to carry. They try him again. He is tipped up. He goes to the 39. Guess what? Three more yards. Third down and four. And here's an update in New York. All right, Charlie, at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, the Oakland Raiders have pulled even. Harvey Williams went 23 yards to set up this one-yard plunge. And with the extra point, the Raiders and Chiefs are tied at 7-7. Seven and seven. A little extra antics in the end zone in the second quarter. Back to you, Charlie and Randy. All right, thank you, Greg. I got a question uh, for your next update. And here is Humphreys to throw on third down, and he overthrows Ronnie Harmon. And 
have the Eagles hold and the Chargers will be kicking. When we saw Oakland, they had very few penalties. I'm wondering against Kansas City if they have that same modus operandi. Well, if they have penalties, it'll be uh, it'll be unnecessary roughness, personal <laughs> foul. But watch Mamula here working working against Swain. I talked about his wiggle. Look at this, the strength for a 250-pound guy pushing back that big tackle. You saw that quick rip. He didn't get there. The defensive end set up moves early in the game to be used later when it's important. Fourth down, Bennett with the kick. Calvin Martin with a waving fair catch at the 20-yard line. So the Eagles will take over after 20, just over six minutes left to go in the first half, and they are up 14-7 following a 41-yard kick. Golfers in America, Julia Serving. Funny to see him in green instead of red, white, and blue still. Ricky Waters with the 20-yard line. He's going to lose maybe three on the play. It'll be second down at 13. Tom Brokaw has dropped by to say hello. You've got a special uh, halftime presentation. This is television. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. All right. It's second down. Cunningham to throw. A little swing right side to water. And he may get close to the 20-yard line. Yeah. Tell me about your halftime presentation. Well, what uh, NBC Channel 10 here in Philadelphia is a new member of the NBC family. And we're doing a lot of exciting new things on NBC Night News. And we're going to be sharing that with her. Uh, new Philadelphia viewers about NBC News and depth and uh, the kinds of things that we're doing that we think are bringing a whole new audience to us. And I, as I said earlier, I've been trying to get your line of work for a long, long time, but you seem to have a corner. Well, I keep picking up management. <laughs> All right, now from the 19-yard line, third down and long. Coming after there's a flag on the play, passes complete, a little scissor step by Waters, and he's decked at the 26, and we'll go back to check out the flag. Tom, thanks for coming by and visiting. It's good to see you all. We'll back a long way. Yeah. We actually worked together in California. Yes, we did. Yeah. And yeah. neither one of us has listed that on our resume. That's true. That's true. And both of our hair were different color. <laughs> Ah, it's good to see you. Holding, we'll see you again at halftime. Number 78 <laughs> offense, finally declined, fourth down. We always meet at the greatest places. You know, we met at the Fiesta Bowl for the National Championship in Seoul at the Olympics. And now he drops by for the ball game. Ray right Rose. is fourth down. Ray Rose got a holding penalty out of Antoine Davis. Remember, he's in there playing for Lester Holmes, and he got overpowered and just crashed. Tom Hutton, this is not a good kick. Does not turn over. Fair catch is drawn for and taken at the 41-yard line. Only 34 yards on the kick. We have 4.41 left in the first half. Next Saturday, a super Saturday as NBC Sports brings you two headline events. First, the Ryder Cup at a special time. Are you ready? Starting at 8 a.m. Eastern. In the morning, our 13 hours of live coverage tees off as two-man teams for USA and Europe go head-to-head -head in this classic match play event. And it's fabulous. That'll be followed by Notre Dame. Ron Paul as they take on the University of Texas Longhorns. Philadelphia up over San Diego, 14-7. And the Chargers go to work at their own 41-yard line as Humphreys comes out throwing. And he goes deep down the far sideline and overthrows everybody. He was going to Tony Martin. There was excellent coverage by Mark McMillan. And back into the game for Philadelphia, Charlie's Greg Jackson at safety. You notice the difference on that, that pass compared to the touchdown where they attack the middle in that case. Humphreys is trying to attack the outside of McMillan. He turns, he runs, he takes everything away. There is nowhere for this place to go. You know, I really like this guy. People talk about his height and his weight and kind of laugh at the matchups he gets into at times, but McMillan is one of the best pure cover corners in the league. Dan Humphreys only three of nine for 47 yards. And here is Nick Trump means he has a hole and he powers his way over the left side out near the 50-yard line. So he's going to pick up about nine on the play. Eric Zomal now is strong safety. He's the number three man in that slot, makes the tacklers, means it's 31 yards rushing. And as the Chargers attacking the guts right inside of this Eagles defense, doing what they do best, which is power the ball and threat with that long bomb. That softens up defense. When you go for that big home run, they just sit back a little bit, then you hit them in the face. Third down, about a yard and a half. The Chargers have converted only one third down opportunity. They convert here. 
And it is Natron Reed stopped by Kurt Govea. 47-yard line of Philadelphia first down. Well, it's a nice job. You know, 5'10", five, five 245 pounds, but he's still smart enough and good enough. He knows how to set up his blocks. And at 245, you're not exactly squeaking through a little hole. You need a big hole to squeak through. You know, if you're going to squeak one at 245, it better be like that and be about 8 feet wide. First down, San Diego at the Eagles' 47-yard line. Chargers trail by seven with 3.24 and counting time remaining in the first half. Play action, fake by all kinds of time goes to Martin. He's got it behind two defenders. Tony Martin pulls it in. The Eagles had two defenders, but he had a step on both of them. Charlie, you remember, you know, we've got a thing here on NBC, the quarterback challenge. One of the quarterback challenges should be hitting a moving target over two other moving targets. You got to drop it in perfectly. And how perfect is that? I mean, absolutely right over the top and perfectly laid in there by Stan Humphreys. You can game plan all you want, but if your quarterback doesn't have that touch and that great throwing ability like Stan Humphreys, most guys don't complete that good a pass. From the 47 yard line to the 8 yard line, it is first down and goal to go. San Diego to tie it up. He's got a flag. And yeah, Natron means just spun down. And that was Andy Harmon who got him after the flag. This will be the first penalty against the Chargers. Gordon McCarter is the referee. Ball start. Offensive left guard before the snap. Five yards. Still first down. Well, remember Panos jumped off sides for the Eagles, and, and now this time it's Eric Moten, who, you know, for all intents and purposes, is about a third year in the NFL guy after that bad injury. And, uh, you know, you got to have that governor. And I actually, you know, on that play, it was 73, Isaac Davis, the young guys in there. You saw what the Chargers have done inside the 20, and second down and goal to go, but now the line of scrimmage is the 13. Humphreys fires, it is almost intercepted. Derek Frazier had it, and he dropped it. And Humphreys hit him right in the hand. He misread the color of his jersey. You have always Ooh. got to assume you're going to get a gift if you're a defensive back and be ready to gift wrap it and take it. That was a gift. And there's the giver. And he got one back. He's saying right there, Martin, you're supposed to go inside. Don't make me look like that. It was Christmas in September. Third down goal to go. Excuse me, second down goal to go. Harmon. Shut off inside, cuts to the outside. You know, that was a good job. A good job there by William Thomas, obviously getting penetration for Ray Rhodes' defense. But when you look at this defensive front, you got Romanowski 241, Fuller 280, Andy Harmon 78, Govea 240, Gunn 296, 250 Mamula, Thomas 223. Not big except for Gunn, but they attack those gaps. And speaking of numbers, two, the two minute warning back in a moment. Through the hands of the Giants in one heart-stopping instant. Zarchik fumbles the football. It's picked up by Herman Edwards. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. The miracle at the Meadowlands. Unexpected and unbelievable. Costly penalty on Isaac Davis. He prefers the right side next to Stan Brock. Well, because Brock doesn't yell at him because he's a veteran. But uh, here's the pass protection down. He got that coordination on that line. Third and goal, 13-yard line. And Humphreys is pulled down. The ball comes loose. May go back underneath the stack to Humphreys, or the Eagles say that they have it, and the officials will make it official. No, San Diego recovers. So underneath the pile. Oh, that ball was just, just kicked right back to Humphreys. Watch this here. Here comes Fuller from the outside, beating that veteran Brock. He strips the ball out, getting a little help from the backside from Harmon. Look at Thomas. He rolls the ball right back into Humphrey's hands. Good break for the Chargers. From the 25-yard line, a field goal attempt by John Carney of 35 yards. And he's got this one. It is good from 35 yards away, and the Chargers pull within four of the Eagles. Philadelphia up 14-10, back to the kickoff in a moment. Welcome back to the event. We've got one minute and 29 seconds. Time remaining in the first half. 
and San Diego just kicking the 35-yard field goal and pulling within four of the Philadelphia Eagles. And so that means that John Carney will be kicking off either Kelvin Martin or Charlie Gardner.